Hallå, I'm Kråkan, also known as Corvus Cornix, and welcome to Class Movie Rambles, where I talk about old movies that I found in my class while cleaning. This week's movie is Zombieland, it's about 1 hour and 24 minutes long, and it starts with the main character Columbus explaining about, well, the rules of Zombieland, and how he survived so far, and then there's some intro credits that plays, and uh, the Metallica song from Who the Ball... From whom the bell tolls plays. <laughs> and then, uh, well, uh, leading into a chase. He's been chased by zombies and he crashes the car that he has. And sometime later he hooks up on a guy on a freeway called Tallahassee. And this guy is a Texan and nothing, he wants nothing more than a Twinkie. That's his whole game. He's uh, That's what he wants. So on this road trip together that they make, they... Uh, talk and uh, Columbus tells the story about his neighbors that she got infected and she got bitten and turned on him and he had to basically take her out. So uh, Columbus is this nerd basically and Tallahassee is this badass Texan guy. So they, they're not on equal ground but they're, there's kind of a funny combo going on. So on the way they stop at a convenience store and they kill off a bunch of zombies. They have like hedge cutters and baseball bats and all kinds of weird stuff and they use it to take out the zombies and in this store they find two girls uh, one older and one younger and they fool the guys into believing that the younger one is bitten and they basically held them up at gunpoint <clears throat> and uh, they take their car and guns and they just leave them there and then the guys go to find a yellow jeep and they drive it down the road and they get stopped and held up by the girls yet again and then they team up and they're supposed to go down to California and uh, Tallahassee wants them to go to uh, Bill Murray's place, his mansion. And they go there and they find him alive. He's dressed up as a zombie just to blend in, which is kind of funny. And they smoke a lot of weed and do crazy stuff. And meanwhile, this is happening. Columbus, uh, Columbus and this young girl is watching a cinema in, well, Bill Murray's uh, own private cinema. And Bill Murray walks in to just scare the guy, to yoke with him, and he gets shot, and he dies. And they have this ceremonial thing where they um, shoot a couple of buckshots, and they actually push him down the balcony, which I thought was kind of stupid, but also funny. It's this dark humor that's been going on throughout the movie. And then they, they split up again. The girls are apparently heading down to a, uh, like a carnival, because the younger girl has, she wants to, you know, experience a car carnival and the stupid thing about this they turn out all the lights and all the carousels and everything and it's a zombie magnet so the whole thing boils down to uh, Tallahassee and Columbus going down to save them and it ends with uh, a happy ending I guess and uh, Tallahassee finally get his Twinkie and that's the end of the movie so what did I think about this movie I didn't have like high expectations going into this movie but it was funny and stupid uh, and there's like a cool effect where uh, Columbus is explaining about the rules so they have this kind of rules pop up on the screen and they kind of land on shelf and windows and they are aligned with the scenery which is a nice 3d effect and throughout the movie he changes the rules because he was always this loner in the beginning but then when he meets up this girl in the sky and you know he changes his way of living there's even like a uh, like a love story going on and stuff like that it's kind of funny so uh yeah i think i can recommend this movie it's actually kind of fun it's a short little movie squeeze in if you have like one and a half hours of nothing to do i guess so anyway thanks for listening and watching and take care